Hello everybody and thank you for joining me. This is Sierra from Sierra T Designs and I have finally finished that file folder mixed media project. So let's jump right in. So if you guys have been following this, this is part six. I made all of these file folders in past videos. There's one video for each folder and this is the end of that series. So we are going to bind them together. That's what I'm going to do here. And off to the left side of the screen right there, there's just like a little book binding kit. I bought it on Amazon. It's linked down below if you want to check it out. And I used a bunch of products from that. So you can see the awl sitting there, which is the tool that I'm going to use to poke the holes so that I can stitch it. That little kind of vial looking thing is full of little needles. And then that is some waxed thread sitting above the needles. So I am using some book binding clips here just because I have a bunch of them and I think they're kind of fun. And honestly, I am going to eyeball this. You absolutely could measure it and get the exact center point. I'm not going to because this whole project has kind of been me winging it. So I felt like it would be fitting to just kind of keep winging it. So I have them bound together and of course Mist had to come and inspect it. And I do have a cutting mat underneath them just to be safe so I don't like stab my glass mat a whole bunch of times. And then once I'm done with it all, I am going to put the little protective cap back on it just so that it can't poke anybody or my cat who likes to hang out. And then I'm going to use this thread. So this thread is actually a waxed thread. It is meant for bookbinding. That is its purpose. And that is also the thread that I've used to hang the the strings kind of off of the folder project so it matches and I measured about three lengths of it long you don't quite need that much but I was just trying to be safe because I wasn't totally sure this is my first project that I'm ever binding and it's going to be a very very simple stitch I believe it it's called a figure eight stitch and that's what I'm going to use so we go through the center hole from the inside leave a string out so that you can tie it to something. Then we're going to go through the top hole. And I did struggle a little bit this with this. I think my, because I'm missed is chasing the string and my holes weren't quite thick enough for this needle. I did use a slightly bigger needle. Um, so I did struggle a little bit here just to get it to go straight through the folder. I do get it in the end. You're going to see here in a second, but it did take me a few tries to kind of get it. And I was worried about pulling too hard because I didn't want to lose that center string that I have sitting in the middle of the book. I'm going to call it a book. It's, it's a file, but you know what I mean? So then I'm going to pull that completely tight without pulling my end through. And then I'm going to go through the bottom hole so that we're going all the way through the hole of the center of this little file folder project. And then we flip it over and we come back through the center hole without catching the, the string that's already in the center. I'm probably making this sound more complex than it is. I promise this is a super simple stitch. Um, and it's just, it, it holds it together beautifully. And then here, when we pull this through, we just tie it in the center. I tied three knots just to be safe. And I believe I did also add some glue to it later just to make sure that it wouldn't let go in any way, shape or form. So this is how I bound it. There are probably loads of ways to do this. And honestly, if I was going to remake this project, this would have been difficult because I did each file folder in a different colorway. And I think that would have been harder to do if they had already been bound. But as a general rule, I'm pretty sure you start with the thing bound and then you decorate it. So I'm kind of doing this backwards, but I think it worked out okay. And I'm not worried about it. This whole project was just me having fun. So there's nothing wrong with it. I just, I think that it would have been a little bit easier if I had bound it and then decorated, but that's okay because we got here and I am incredibly happy with how this project turned out. So it is all bound together. So now I want to create something that will hold it closed. So I have here some Tim Holtz crinkle ribbon. Um, I've had this in my stash for a long time. I assume you can still get it, but any ribbon would work for this. This is just his version of ribbon and I know that it dyes beautifully. So it's kind of why I chose it because I want to spray it with a bunch of the inks so that I can kind of color code it to what I've done with my um, different colors in the folder here. So you see me add a little bit of water to it and then I put it into my splat box and then I'm going to use five different colors of mica spray. I used winter berry which is the pink, jack-o-lantern which is the orange, frosty mint which is the greeny color, shiny bobble for blue, and fortune teller for the purple. Now of course you could use any sprays for this. I just I love the shimmer of the micas so I chose to use those um, but you could use you know the distress sprays, the distress oxide sprays, whatever sprays you have on hand. 
I would suggest sprays just because they're a more concentrated color. So you're going to get a more vibrant look. But if you aren't aiming for that, that's perfectly okay too. You guys know that I love vibrant. So that is what I was aiming for. But there's nothing right or wrong with this. This is just what I kind of came up with. And you see here, there are a few little areas that I missed. So I did go back in with whatever color I needed and just kind of finished up whatever holes there were. Now, at this point, I had walked away. I let this dry for probably about an hour. I went and I made tea and I, you know, hung out with my husband for a while. So by this point, it's very dry. Now you're not going to see me do this because I did it off camera, but at this point I actually balled it up several times in my hand so that it would kind of crinkle because I wanted that very kind of distressed look. And here you just see me using my custom stamp to stamp on the back because I do like to stamp everything that I make just in case you never know who's going to get it. I mean, maybe the person who wins this is going to gift it to somebody else and they want to come check me out. So I do always use my custom stamp on things that I make so that people can find me later if they want to. Uh, and then I'm going to adhere that ribbon right on the back. I'm going to hold it here for a few seconds, but once I do that, I let go and it stayed there. I did walk away again and let the glue dry really well because I didn't want the color to run, but other than that, it uh, it adhered really well and ties beautifully. You could have done a different way to do this. You didn't I like I didn't have to glue it, but because I didn't design anything in the whole design to like wrap it around and tie it and have it stay there because like, I could have put like an eyelet on the front or the back in the center and had it loop through that instead of adhering it to the actual file folders. But I did not put that in my design. So this is what I came up with to kind of counteract the fact that I didn't kind of come up with an idea for binding in the beginning. Um, but I think it all worked out pretty well. And now this is me beading. Now I have never, never beaded anything before. So bear with me as I kind of, you know, struggle a bit to get, sometimes I struggle to get the thread to even go through the beads I want to use. And then other times I struggle a little bit to tie the knots because you guys know that I have longer nails. So it does sometimes make delicate things a little bit more difficult. I always manage them. Um, I refuse to let my love of nails stop me from doing anything, um, but sometimes it does make it a little bit more difficult. So I have to, you know, kind of try something a few times. But for the beads, everything you see here, except those silver leaves that I'm going to add at the ends of each string came from Michael's. So I like to wait until Michael's has a 60% off sale on their strung beads, which they fairly often do. I think that I've seen one at least once a month, especially recently. And I'll go and I'll pick out a couple of different strings that I really like and get them 60% off. Or sometimes they have, like my Michaels had a big clearance on their beads uh, because they were bringing in a whole bunch more. So I went and picked up like a bunch of them. The containers you see them in are actually from scrapbook.com. Um, they just, are, it's like a flat thing and then there's jars inside and they just kind of sit all together. I just thought that was a great way to store them. So that's kind of what I chose to do. And then that like bead tray on the bottom, that is also from Michaels. It was like $6 Canadian. So American, I assume it's like three, but uh, I just thought it was a great way to hold a bunch of different beads at the same time. Um, it's for making necklaces. I can't see myself making necklaces. I just want to add beads to journals and stuff that I make, but I thought it was a great way to just kind of hold the beads so they didn't roll around on my desk, even if one of my cats tried to jump up. And then the silver leaves that I'm adding are all from Amazon. There's like this little kit, a little container that has all these really beautiful silver beads. So they're silver leaves, sorry. So I have that and I just picked out four different leaves, but there's like, oh, I don't even know, like 12 different leaves in that set. You'd have to check out the set. I will, of course, link it down below as I always do, if there's anything you're interested in. And I really appreciate it when you guys shop my links, if you're going to buy something anyway, because of course that gives me a small commission um, at no extra charge to you. And it just kind of helps me, you know, purchase all these fun things that I'm using on the channel for you guys to check out. So I really appreciate it if you do use my links when you're going shopping anyways. Uh, so yeah, so for this, I did, you guys know I like uneven numbers. So I did stick to uneven numbers for each little kind of row of beads. So you saw on the first string, I did three pearls and then I did two crystals and a metallic. They're kind of hexagon shaped sort of I don't know how to explain this but they they have a shape to them that's not round um and they're really pretty and then I used 
um, three more of the pearls on the first string. And every time I stopped working with whatever I was working with, I did put a knot so that they could only move within that small section that I had given them. Um, and then at the end, I did cap them off with a leaf. And when everything was completely done, I did also go and add glue to all of the knots holding the leaves because I didn't want them to just fall off. Um, so hopefully in transit, nothing damages. Um, that's the hope. So this, you guys know, I have the intention of giving it away. Um, I am going to pick somebody tomorrow, sometime tomorrow. Um, this goes up obviously Thursday. I work all day Thursday. I don't get home until after 10 and then, you know, I have to, to go to bed and whatever. But um, so I will be picking a name on Friday and shipping it out right away because I will already have the address. So if you're interested in winning this, you do need to be on my happy mail list. That is just the easiest way I have found to, you know, pick a name and then just get it shipped out right away without having to, you know, try to get you to contact me, get your address, try to mail it out. Like it's just, this is just the simplest way I've found. So please, if you're interested, join my happy mail list um, and that will put your name in the draw and I'm just going to put all the names in a draw, pick one name and then it's going to get mailed out. So hopefully the person will have this in time for Christmas and they will enjoy it um, and they can add to it or just love it the way it is or they can re-gift it if they, if they have a person who would like it. It's yours so you can do whatever you wish with it at that point. Um, I hope that you love it because it was a, a labor of love and imagination as we kind of worked through all these different layers and I hope the person who receives it gets to enjoy all the different layers. Like I, I honestly think that the camera does not pick up all of the details of what's going on here. Like there's a lot of stuff going on in these folders that, you know, you might miss just because it'll be like something subtle that I've added that's not, you know, really, really eye catching. So hopefully you will love it, whoever wins it. And, um, and I'll get to see if you do anything with it or just that you loved it. Um, if you guys ever recreate something that I've made and you want me to see it, make sure to link me. Um, you can tag me or you can shoot me an email. You can shoot me a message. However you want to contact me, let me know. Cause I love to see what you've made and leave it some love and, you know, communicate with you. So, if you, if you want to, I mean, not everybody posts everything, but if you do recreate something and you do post it, let me know so that I can come and check it out and, you know, leave you some love. Cause that's my whole purpose is that I want to inspire people to create whatever your style is, you know, like this file folder was a completely different, I have not made anything like this ever. And it was just a labor of love and fun. And I think it turned out really, really well. I am so excited about it. So you're going to get a closer look here of everything. This is the little bow tied in the front and it just easily comes apart. Uh, and then you can open up the layers and kind of just take a look at all of the different colors as they come together. I think that it's stunning. I would love you guys to tell me what you think of it because now it's completely finished and it gets to, you know, go into the hands of someone who will hopefully love it as much as I do. Um, so that is the project I have for you guys today. This is finally finished. I started this in June of this year. So, you know, it's kind of fitting that we finished it in December of this year. At least it only took me, you know, one year to get it done, but it did work out okay. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like, leave me a comment and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I do new videos every Monday and Thursday and I cannot believe it, but we only have a couple of weeks left till Christmas. Thank you so much guys. And I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.